Here's a segment from a recent Gun Talk radio episode. You can listen to all the Gun Talk radio podcasts however you tune in, or check out guntalk.com for more. One of the things that we like to talk about a lot is getting new people involved in the shooting sports. It's fun. It's a wholesome activity. It's a lifetime sport. It's got a lot of things going for it. You don't have to be big. You don't have to be strong. You don't have to be fast. You don't have to be tall. You just have to be able to focus. It's a mental game. Shooting is a mental game. To talk about one of these programs, right now we're joined by Jake Heinemann. He's the president and CEO of the Student Air Rifle Program. Hey, Jake, welcome to Gun Talk. Hey, thanks for having me, guys. You bet. Well, all right, first off, Let's talk about what SAR is, Student Air Rifle Program. What is this thing? Yeah, so SAR was uh, founded really with the idea of taking a program that was already in existence, the National Archery in the Schools Program, uh, where they basically taught archery during PE class. We saw the success of that program, and we wanted to build something that was similar, and so we switched out the bow and arrow with an air rifle and pellets. And so really our mission is pretty straightforward. We're, we're really here to facilitate an introduction to target shooting to, to basically youth in grades 4 through 12. Okay, 4 through 12, and it's done through the schools. Oh, let me back up. Who are you guys when you say we're doing this? Who are you guys? <laughs> yeah, so we're a, we're a group of a small, pretty small board. We're a 501c3 a nonprofit organization. Um, I worked with uh, several individuals that helped us get this program off the ground, a number of partners and uh, and people that were here from the beginning. Our, our program manager, Jan Morris, has been in the shooting sports for uh, for over 30 years, as well as his wife, Gwen. She's our office manager. So we're, we're local people. We live in Missouri is where the program was started uh, with a, a really a strong background in shooting sports and education. And we decided to put the two of those together to develop a program like this where we could uh, trained teachers is really the the core concept. We have a curriculum mm-hmm. called a basic air rifle instructor, where we train a PE teacher, usually is who it is, that then delivers this curriculum as part of PE class. So uh, I'm just thinking now, a PE <laughs> class, you might you might say, okay, we're going to do like six weeks of basketball and six weeks of archery and six weeks of that. Is that what we're talking about, that kind of a thing? Absolutely. Yeah, it's designed to be a and I, I know it, it, it's Tom. That's uh, we get that question quite a bit. Um, but yes, it's absolutely it's a sport that that can be done during PE class inside of a gym. Uh, we train the teachers how to turn their gymnasium into a an air rifle range, and we have a standardized kit of equipment uh, that comes with the program that they can use uh, to basically convert that gym to a rifle range. So you're exactly just... right. I can just yeah. imagine the, the pushback reactions you get. Oh, we can't have guns in school. So what do you hear for the re- objections, and then how do you overcome them? Some. And I, I do I really appreciate that question because we, we spent a lot of time making sure that we were we had a curriculum that was solid and really focusing on the reasons we want to teach shooting sports for focus and self-discipline and confidence and all these kind of things that I'm sure you guys have talked about on your show. Sure. Um, so we build that as a foundation. Uh, and then we back that up with a curriculum that was tested. We conducted a pilot with around 3,000 students in Missouri. There were over 20 schools that participated in our pilot program that we conducted. And so we had a lot of feedback from students, from teachers, from our instructors, from parents in the community that had their students that were participating in it. Uh, we do hear some feedback from, uh, as you suggested, that, my goodness, guns in schools. But what we found is, from an education standpoint, uh, once people see how safe it can be conducted during school and they see that the positive impacts of it, uh, most of the time it's pretty welcoming. We have to get past that initial kind of shock first. Right, right. What's it cost a school to do this? So it's around $3,000 is what the, the equipment kit will cost. Um, it's usually around three to 3200 It depends on how many students are going to go through the program in their school. And that mm-hmm. kit will include essentially everything they need. I mean, I'll give you a quick rundown of what it is, but it'll come with a a ballistic curtain that's 10 foot by 30 foot that they hang as their backstop. There'll be five target holders. Those target holders are, um, they're made of a a poly material with a EPS that stops basically the density is strong enough to stop these pellets. 
Uh, and there's two students per target holder, so they can be 10 students shooting at once on the, the way the range is designed. Right. And then there's, there is uh, rifle racks. Those hold up to 10, 10 of our Embark Air rifles, and then it comes with 10 Embark Air rifles. And then we have lead-free pellets. It's called the Journey. It's a pellet that we use specifically with the program, hmm. um, along with safety glasses. And a, there's a training a kit, a tote that they can use to carry their net. <clears throat> and then they also have a cleaning and a maintenance kit for their rifles. So that's pretty. It's a it's a packaged uh, curriculum. They get the training as well as the uh, all the equipment. What's how long have you been doing this? So we just celebrated five years. Uh, in fact, this month in March, March 9th was our March 9th of 2016 was our incorporation date as a as a 501c3. So right. we're, we've been at it for five years now. Yeah. So you got some track record now. What, what kind of reaction are you getting from the schools that have put it in after a year or two? Uh, we hear consistently from schools that um, that love it, and most schools that do start it, they'll they want to continue it. And we also have tournaments too. The tournaments have have been a, sort of a slow grower for us. It's starting to pick up a little bit. Missouri is where we're offering tournaments. We're looking to consider doing a national tournament too because we're starting to bring more states on now. But in mm -hmm. Missouri, we'll offer several qualifying tournaments, and then we have a state tournament too. And a lot of times, people get really excited about that. Parents, grandparents, any you know anybody else that wants to come watch at the tournament. Uh, but we we hear consistently from from students and teachers that pass on that hey, this program has been this has been great, and we really appreciate what it teaches, the responsibility side, and all the benefits that we talked about just a minute ago. And of course, it's a sport where. There's no particular advantage of boys and girls. They they could just shoot. It, it's really a, a sport that it's, it's between your ears, isn't it? Absolutely. That's uh, one of the great things about shooting sports is that anybody, any really anybody can participate. It's a lifetime sport. Um, boys, girls, doesn't matter really necessarily the age. And mm -hmm. uh, anybody can benefit from it. And so from a school sports standpoint, that's really a, a big plus for a lot of schools. And the fact that it's also a combined individual and a team sport. So when we have tournaments, you're not only shooting for your own individual score, but you're also contributing to a team as well. And there's oh, not a lot nice. of sports that have that ability where it's team and individual. You know, and something that probably a lot of people don't know about. But if you're good at this, you can progress and actually get a scholarship to college in shooting in some schools. Absolutely. That's an, I'm so glad you brought that up, too, is that what we teach in the program is actually the same style of shooting that occurs in the Olympics. I um, mean, it's 10-meter mm -hmm. it's standing is what we teach in, the, in our program. And so you're right. You can go to college. Um, there's a number of colleges that have uh, spectacular air riflery programs or riflery programs, too, a small bore. Um, right. And then from there, you can certainly uh, you can aspire to participate in the Olympics. Uh, and some people have gone from that and then gone into the military and then gone uh -huh. into the Army Marksmanship Unit, and now you are become a professional shooter. Yeah, yeah, you're exactly right. I mean, there's there's a lot of opportunity there with uh, with a number of shooting sports, and particularly in the riflery realm, too. There's there's a lot, there's a really good path there that students, if they want to take that kind of a path. That's terrific. Now, uh, is there a role for parents to play if they say, God, I'd, I'd love to have this at my kid's school. How do I do this? How can they get involved? Absolutely. So parents, if you're if you're somebody listening to this, you're thinking, wow, I'd love to have this at my school or love to have this in my state. That's where we typically start first is we ask if that state is currently participating or actively mm -hmm. looking for new states. We have several states that are that have expressed interest. In fact, Tom, we just had a school in Alaska reach out to us last week um, that had heard about the program. And so uh, that's yeah, so that's kind of the first step is to find out if we're currently offering it in that state. And if we're not, then we have a discussion about what would that look like. Uh, do we have a coordinating organization? We typically work with a, either a Fish and Wildlife Agency or we will work with uh, possibly a teacher that wants to become a, a volunteer coordinator for us. And so normally we'll, we've got to train the trainer model where we'll right. come in and we'll train – a number of teachers as a basic air riflery instructor, and then we like to train somebody as a trainer, too. Um, and so then when new schools are interested, uh, they can be trained as well. But if you're a parent and you're wanting to get your school involved in it, um, you can reach us uh, on our website. It's the studentairrifleprogram.org. Um, and we also have an info email account that you could email us, and, and we'll be happy to send out more information 
Uh, we're always looking for support. It is a grassroots program, and so we're always wanting to have that kind of support. Right. But I would also encourage parents to uh, to ask their their school, talk to their school board, or talk to their school administration, and ask their their PE teacher, the athletic director, if they would be interested in having a program like this. If they're doing archery, uh, there's a really good likelihood that they could have a pretty seamless program, seamless transition into air riflery. Uh, we built it very, very close right. to the same style of the, the National Archery in the Schools program. Well, Jake, it's a terrific uh, program. I love what you're doing with this. Uh, it is called the Student Air Rifle Program on the web, studentairrifleprogram.org. I would encourage anybody to go take a look at it and see if you can get it into their schools. Let's see if we can't double, quadruple, go tenfold on how many schools you're into. Tom, that'd be awesome. And uh, take a look, too, on our website or Facebook page. We're celebrating five years, and we're donating a, a new Marex Bark Air Rifle this month, too, for a giveaway. Very good. Congratulations and well done, and thank you from all of us for what you're doing there. Thank you, guys. All right, you take care. 866-TALK-GUN. I love this idea. Um, getting shooting into schools as part of PE, like archery, using air rifles. I don't know. What do you think? Would, would you volunteer to help with a program like that? 